Every day, messages and tasks flood into Outlook and my day. It's a lot to keep track of. But ever since I discovered Outlook flags, I haven't had to play catch up nearly as often. Flags are a visual reminder to follow up on an item, whether I'm working in mail view, contacts view, or tasks view. When the time comes that I need to take action, the text for a flagged item turns red so that it stands out as a visual cue in my lists. Here's how it works. When I flag an item for follow-up by clicking the follow-up button, I can choose from several time frames to complete the action. If I don't see a time frame that I want, I can choose the custom option. Here I can specify a start date and due date. The dates I select will determine when the text for the flagged items will turn red. While I'm in this dialog box, I can also change the action and set a reminder if I want to. That's how flags are set from the Outlook window, but I can also flag open items that I'm working in. For instance, in an open message, I have the same flag menu that I have in the main Outlook window. When I assign a flag to a message, I also see the information associated with the flag here in the info bar. All the details I need are easily referenced. When I flag contact items, flag-related information shows up in the info bar there, too. On the other hand, I don't have to flag task items. Outlook automatically flags tasks for me and places them in the to-do bar. Speaking of the to-do bar, I can get a handle on all my flagged items by checking the to-do bar, whether it's a flagged message, contact, or task. This is really convenient because I can see the flagged items organized by date in one place. If I don't assign a date to the flag, there's a section for that, too. I can see the to-do bar in mail view, too, which I like because I spend a lot of time in my inbox. Another place I can go to see my flagged items is calendar view. In the daily task list, at the bottom of the calendar, I can see flagged items listed on the day they are due. Those are the basics of assigning flags. But my last tip is also a real time saver. Quick click flags. I often assign the tomorrow flag to items to remind myself to follow up with people promptly. Outlook provides an easy way to assign my favorite flag quickly with just a single click by setting up a quick click flag. To set my default flag, I click set quick click and then choose tomorrow from the list. Now when I click next to a message, contact, or task, it is automatically assigned a tomorrow flag. That's it. Just one click and I've set up a safety net for myself. Outlook flags get my attention when I'm involved in my work, whether it's by seeing them at a glance or getting a friendly pop-up reminder. I decide what items need the most attention and customize my flags accordingly. Flags are a job saver.